I gotta, I gotta ask you this because it'd be uh, crazy not to. There's, yeah. there's been a guy on YouTube. His name's uh, Base Frequency. I think he's called himself. Okay. And he's been making this documentary series. In uh, he's been making these documentary series on Anthony. Yeah, it's it's they call the demented world, and he's up to like part five or six or seven, and it's pretty crazy. Like I think, unless uh, I heard it wrong. He actually filmed Anthony's house. Really? Yeah, which is, uh, I thought it was a bit full on, you know? Is this the same guy who made, like, the Joe Matarese one and the uh, Jim Norton one? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's the same one, but uh, I, th- I think they maybe work uh, in uh, tandem. <laughs> tandem. Jesus, yeah, no <laughs> Yeah, but you should you should Google because when I had a uh, Joe Cumia was on, and they they did an episode specifically about Joe, and it was like fifty minutes long, and all it did was call him a pedophile and say feed Nana over and over again. Oh yeah, there's the feed Nana group. I don't know who that is. I know that they call him Nana, and there's the feed Nana hashtag, and. Uh... I think it stems from somebody that was fired from the show. I or f- fired from uh, Compound Media. I don't. I don't know who it is, but there's definitely people out there with like a deep obsession, like a like a, a psychosexual obsession with them. But I can't wrap my head around. Like th- there's trolling, and then there's the O and A universe, which is just. Like, there's fun mentally ill, and then there's just these people should drop fucking dead mentally ill, and that's what half these people are. Like, if you're spending that much time making a documentary about another man, you seriously have got to get your head checked. That's not that's not normal behavior. Yeah, it, it, to me, like, uh, I didn't really know. I mean, I was aware of the documentaries, of course, but uh, I didn't know that they actually go after people's jobs like uh, i didn't know that they would get joe kumia fired from uh, gigs and stuff yeah um i did a tv commercial recently and somebody had randomly called the company which uh, which by the way the people who you want to fuck with they're people that are in detroit construction but uh they called them at random and said that i was part of a racist podcast and then then racially insulted the black woman who answered the phone at the company. And they thought that we didn't know who it was, but they have caller ID. Like the person tried to block it, but it's a company who can just find out who called and they did. And, you know, instead of bringing on legal issues or even caring, you just ignore the guy because he's useless. But, you know, they really do try to go above and beyond to ruin people's lives, but they don't have any power to actually do it. It's kind of crazy. But the, the thing, one of the things that I always find crazy is that a lot of Anthony haters also complain about social justice warriors, yet they fucking get offended by anything Anthony says or does or tweets or Instagrams or anything. Oh, yeah, I've noticed that too, yeah. And I, that's the thing about Anthony is really like, yeah, he makes offensive jokes, but he always has. That's why he, he and I click, is we both like to make offensive jokes and try to top one another, and it's a good time. Like, it's just, it's just something different than what's out there right now. There's nothing wrong with doing what we do. There's nothing wrong with doing what other people do. It's just, but yeah, you're right. So many people jump on being offended, and so many people who claim to be not PC or some of the most politically correct people I see on social media. Would, would you like to hear my favorite racist joke? Yes, I'd love to. Uh, so this, this gentleman is chased into a Starbucks by these uh, six skinheads and they've all got these pipes and sticks and they corner him and they beat him and they kick him and it's horrible. So he's been uh, taken away in an ambulance and the police officer is interviewing people and he says to the manager, hey, uh, why didn't you help out? And the manager goes, well, I thought six was enough. (laughs) You want to hear my favorite one? Please. Okay. Uh, What did the Jewish pedophile say to the little boy? (laughs) Hey, you want to buy some candy? (laughs) 